I come with a small experiment of anatomy. Have you ever thought how your fingers work, how you are able to lift weight with your fingers and hand? Here is a small experiment for that, for understanding the functioning of your fingers, functioning of uh, the movement of your fingers. The, uh, it's a small experiment. Uh, many people might know this, but still, uh, this is for those who uh, don't know about this. Uh, for this, uh, I want to I want uh, you to put your hand, your your forearm, on a table like this. Just relax. Don't act any of your muscles. Let it stay by itself. And with my finger, I'm just touching this part from the elbow, somewhere in the middle of my forearm. I'm just pressing. The different parts okay let me see what happens wow it was more it was not done by me yeah okay let me try to move my little finger i hope you can see that Once again, yeah, that's my little finger. Okay, this here. You can see that these two fingers are moving together. And so far, the thumb is not uh, moving so much. Let me see. Okay. Almost all my four fingers moving more laterally. Okay. So here is my index finger moving. And more laterally. Yeah. Now I can move my thumb. Yes. Why is it like this? Because for the movement of finger, there are uh, two sets of muscles for you for for movement of your fingers. These muscles are the powerful muscles of your finger. This gives strength for your fingers. They begins from here. There are two layers of muscles for these four fingers and this thumb has a unique one single muscle uh, for, for this bending, flexion movement we say. Uh, one superficial set of muscles for these four fingers, they begins from here, from a bony prominence on the middle side of your elbow. They forms like this and there is a band like structure underneath the wrist called as a flexible retinaculum that goes deep to it and then it splits into four and that is getting inserted to this part we call this as the middle phalanx of your fingers this is exempted okay so there is a superficial muscle and there is another deep muscle which again pass uh, in the same way deep to the uh, superficial muscle that passes again splits into four uh, tendons we say and they are inserted to the bones in the tip of your fingers again this thumb is exempted together these two contracts it pulls this string like this pulls these fingers like this actually these two tendons together makes a flexion movement like this so this is how the muscle two muscles located here in the forearm are giving the powerful flexion action of your fingers. There is one muscle for the thumb, which is again arising from the lateral aspect, and that is passing still deep to the flexor retinaculum, and that is going to the thumb. That is a dedicated muscle called as a flexor pollicis longus, and that helps to flex. 
so i told about the strength uh, of the strong action of the uh, of the fingers but do you know that there are some uh, muscles which act very finely on all the fingers uh, and all these muscles we call as the intrinsic muscles of the hand is located in the palm itself there are very small uh, relatively small muscles they begin in the palm and they end uh, they they end in the fingers and these muscles are responsible for the very fine movements of the fingers like holding a pen playing a musical instrument uh, so basically there are two sets long flexors we call which gives the strength to the fingers this are the set of muscle which helps for grabbing things very strongly and we relatively weak muscles short muscles beginning and ending in the hand they are called as intrinsic muscles and they do not have the strength though they uh, give very fine control uh, of movement of your fingers okay that's all